Right, so, um, yeah, week, what, four? Yeah, week four of my summer holidays, and, yeah, it's, there's been a lot of crochet going on. At the weekend, I actually took a trip to Lowestoft for Stitches on the Sand, so hopefully um, you'll enjoy seeing footage from that. It's a really nice show, it's very small. It is the sister show to East Anglia Yarn Festival, which is in Norwich. And this is the second year the smaller version has been held. And Lowestoft is the most easterly town in the UK. So, yeah, I love going to Yarmouth, which is a bit further south of Lowestoft. But I've never actually been there before. So, yeah, I had a really nice time. I went up on the Saturday after um, working at the shop. Booked into the hotel which the event was at. And yeah, I got some really nice footage. It's a really lovely little town and it was really good to see some friends as well whilst I was up there. We've got the sunset behind us. <laughs> Sophie. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen one in person. I love it. I went, I went to make one. <gasps> I've just had an idea. I have the Nitical Roll Yay. yarn. I'm going to see if, see if I can make one of that. So this, this is why I want a love note and in red. There's another crochet one in here as well. These are crochet. Well. That is... Is that the old one? Did you say this one was Hotel of Beats? Oh, this is Transpose. Yeah, that's Hotel of Beats. This is Transpose. This is a crochet project. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that's a crochet project. That is a crochet project. Yeah, so very limited budget, but I'm very happy with my purchases. And I did spy a few more bits that will be in my basket as soon as payday comes. But I thought I would show you what I picked up. Because even though it's only a very small event this time, um, it was really nice to see quite a few people there. And there's a few shops that I hadn't um, been to before. So... Yeah, we're going to show you what I got. Um, yeah, I drove up on Saturday, stayed in the hotel. We <laughs> met up on the beach Saturday night. Um, and then on Sunday we went to the show because it's only a one-day event. And then I came back Sunday evening. So, yeah, it was just really nice to be by the sea as well. Um, yeah. It was, it was a good way of relaxing for me. Anyway, so first things first. The first thing that I picked up was a Sardar Happy Kit with these little dinosaurs. Um, I don't know what ones I can make though. I think I can make this one and possibly, possibly that one. I don't know. I'm going to have a go though. Um, this yarn is a chenille type yarn. It is a bit thinner than what I'm used to though. Um, so it uses a 3.25 hook. But if I use like a yummy yarn, which is chunky, I actually use a 4 mil hook. So I might have to drop and use a 3 mil for this. But we're going to have a go anyway. So I wanted to try and make one of the dinosaurs on there. And the idea was that if you spent £10 at the shop, so this is actually from Lowestoft Wool Shop, which unfortunately I've heard is um, closing down. But if you spent £10, which I did, like £10.55, then you got a goodie bag to go with it. So this is my goodie bag. And it's got in it, so I was, oh, I got the King Cole goodie bag because they had two different types. I had a, a King Cole and a Rico one. And I got a ball or a cake of Safari Chunky. And it knits up in stripes like an animal print. So you get 150 grams in the cake. It is chunky and uses a 6mm needle. So therefore a 6mm hook as well. But yeah, so I've got one of those. And Sophie of A Spring Snowflake, who is there as well. She also got the same goodie bag and we got the same yarn. So she actually gave me hers. So I have two. <laughs> and so I have 300 grams that I'm going to try and um, work something from. Whoop, now I've dropped one. 
so thank you to Sophie for that and we also got a pattern to go with it so this is the colorway that we've got so you've got a cow a hat some fingerless mittens and then on this side is a scarf as well I don't know oh it's two different hats two different mittens the cow and a scarf so there's six different items in this pattern um so i'm going to see what how far the two um cakes will get me because i think you just need one ball for each yeah other than the snood you need one ball of each so yeah and it looks like easy knitting so i might actually be able to do it myself um but yeah so i'm gonna have a go with that but that's not all i mean this is just the goodie bag and i know that these are roughly seven pounds a ball they're similar to um they might not be seven pounds they're similar to the harvest yarn or the starcraft batik swell as well um yeah so in addition to that we also got if i can get it all in one go so we got two badges one that says I love crochet and one that says I love knitting which Sophie immediately put on her lanyard um yeah so they're gonna go on some project bags and we've got a king hole pen which is bright pink I love pink and we can never go without a pen and then there's a little bag of chockies as well there's quite a few you get five chocolates in there so yeah I think it's worth it just for the goodie bag so that was from lower stuff wall shop and then i also picked up the one thing i wanted to get whilst i was there was another bag from josie rose because i have my little one that says crochet crap on it <laughs> um and i have a black sort of draw is it a drawstring one yeah i have a black drawstring one as well but i saw this and immediately went ooh. I want it um i was looking for a larger bag i think this is probably a decent size for me because i don't do many sweaters or garments so can we see why i went for it um, there's so many colors in this and it's got a handle so you can carry it with you da, da, da. and i think she's got new labels now as well Yes, because I think the label that I had on my pink one, um, the writing on it has come off. So yes, this was £35. It's just hand-dyed fabric. Some, So she also does some with velvet and some with vinyl. And it is josierose.uk over on Instagram. It's got the rose gold zipper. Love rose gold. And then inside, it has got spotty fabric. And it has a pocket so yeah pink spotty fabric i hadn't actually opened it until that moment so that's quite nice i like the pink spots <laughs> um yeah so i have a new project bag like i said that's the only thing i really wanted to get from the weekend um so i got that and i also picked up a couple of bits from laura or of the lonely knitter because lone lonely knitter laura is the one who organizes the events so she organizes the east anglia yarn festival and the stitches on sand um show so she was right by the door just in case there was any trouble people could find her straight away and yeah i dove straight into the bargain bucket because i didn't have much money on me so i've got a whole list of things that i want and um, yes so i have this is from Mickey Mouse's Playhouse from her um, Disney inspired yarn of the month. So I have this one. And I figured because it's Mickey Mouse, I would also get some needle stoppers, which are Mickey ears. So I have Mickey yarn and Mickey ears. So when it does become a project, they'll go together. And there was a few stalls actually with the litmus cow um as a sample on their stands 
Now, I'm very tempted to make one because it is literally, literally just knitting round and round and round. And Laura has recently finished one which uses her Game of Thrones colourways. So she uses the mini set that she has and then a full skein as well. And that is going in my basket on payday so that I can get that. Um, but I could wait until Jisoy, which is Glasgow School of Yarn, because I am going up then as well. And that is October. But it could also be my knitting for when I go. I don't know. I don't know whether to wait or just order it. Anyway, so that's what I got. That's most of what I got. I did get something else as well. So, I did also buy two brownies from the brownie stall. Um, which did not last very long. They were gone before I left. Um, yes, so I also picked up Super Chunky. Um, it is Superwash Merino, 100%. Um, it's 200 grams, which is 130 meters, and uses an eight, between an eight and a 12 um, mil needle. This is called Hologram and is from Elizabeth Paul or Powell and I got it just because it's got all the colours and it made me smile now I have some four ply left over and I have some super fat yarn from Wooler Yarn from the Rookie Cushion that I made so I still have those available um, to use I still have a little bit of those that I can use um, and I want to try and make something else with it using the same sort of technique so i thought i'd pick up something i can do that with so yeah i have super chunky but look at the color look at the color look at the color um yeah so i have that and um so these have got a the sheer butter in them has a use by date or best before date it is yeah a best before date of november so got some tins of laura's crafters balm as well so i have a peppermint natural lemon and a second peppermint so one of these is going into a giveaway prize um because soon now that i've got two, i've got 200 videos now on youtube and i will be coming up to my fourth year of podcasting in september so i'm going to hold a giveaway for that so do check out september's or august's podcast because I'll, I'll mention it again then with all the details of how to enter so yes there'll be a peppermint to go in with that and i think i watched sophie's um ah, so this one's got a little bumblebee on honeycomb shape with a bumblebee oh that smells amazing So that's a peppermint that one's another peppermint is that the same shape yep that's a bumblebee as well lemon is also a bumblebee but the natural one is the honeycomb shape so yeah they smell amazing so one of those will be going into my next giveaway prize i do need to sort out my last giveaway prize but yeah we'll come back to that at some point um i want to make a bag to go with it that's why it's still we're hanging around but yeah we had a really good time and i think that's all right like i had i had a hundred pound to spend that was literally it i had nothing else to spend i had a hundred pound and that was it and i came home with cash still so i think i did all right i've got a kit i've got a skein of sock yarn a skein of super chunky i've got a, a new bag i've got two yarn cakes as well so yeah i'm happy um the next event i'm going to is glasgow school yarn in october but yeah i wanted to show you what i got for stitches on the sand we had a really nice evening on the beach and then i spent the afternoon on the beach as well once the show was all shut up and everyone was packed away and um, but it got really cold so we had to call it a day in the end because the wind was just yeah quite strong but 
if Laura decides to bring it back in a couple of years time um, I will definitely be going again it's such a nice relaxed atmosphere and because it's such a small a much smaller event as well there's a limited amount of tickets available um but it's just a really nice day and like you could go shopping in the morning and then go for lunch and then go sit on the beach and work on the yarn that you'd bought um or do it the other way around <laughs> um yeah so i think the only thing was that i think the women's world cup was on at the same time so the women's football was on and England had got through. So some of the people had bought tickets. But were staying home to watch the football. <laughs> but anyway. I am going to. Um, get the kit ready. And I'm going to go make some dinosaurs. Because they are really cute. And yeah. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.